Over 20 years of Baki. That's how long it took for Jack and Yudro to have another conversation in the series. Last time it had Yudro claim fighting was just one of the fundamentals of fighting on a battlefield. I guess a little bit of praise followed up by that one should be wary of biting certain clothing as they can pull away to rip out the biter's teeth which actually happened many years later when Jack faced Motobay. But their previous interaction ended with Jack almost getting killed by the ogre without much difficulty. Of course, this was a Jack who was greatly injured after losing against Baki in the Maximum Tournament. However, this time in Baki Rahen, many manga series later, Yudro claims that in the history of those who sought to be the strongest, you alone have set foot into the true world of biting. You have a rare purity. Yep, you heard it right. Yudra Hanma has praised Jack for the first time in the entire series. Over a thousand chapters of Baki, and this moment has solidified itself as one of the greatest of all time. This very clearly speaks volumes for how much Jack has actually improved. For example, the last time Yudra spoke about Jack was before Baki went to have his fight with Pickle at the end of that arc, recently adapted into the anime form, stating in the anime that blood runs thin in Jack, and in various manga translations claiming that Jack is unpure. However, as outlined in previous videos, the Baki manga does not have an official English translation to this point in the story, meaning when it comes to authenticity of exact statements, there is a lot of questionable aspects of it, so if we take the anime as a more official translation source, that whole scene in episode 10 of Baki Hanma season 2 was claiming that Jack lost against Pickle because he has less Yudro or Hanma blood in him, being reason for why Baki is going to win as he has more. Not exactly being unpoor, just being less poor you could say, so take that however you want. It's important to note that the mad lads who are regarded as the most trustworthy in the community for translations is the spiny back team, and they have been for a long time. So I guess Yujiro's claim that Jack has a rare purity in this chapter is in fact true, and does leave many questions open regarding his demon back coming out in this chapter. Yes, demon back, not this angel back stuff, which is pretty much baseless, just because Jack was revealed to be religious doesn't mean he's going to have an angel back, something that doesn't have anything in the series pointing to it exactly. The demon back is tied deeply with the Hanma bloodline, as demonstrated with the ancient Egyptian tombs revealed during the Baki and Yudro fight. So, I don't see any reason for people to continue saying an angel back will occur. Of course, I could be wrong. I wouldn't be too disappointed if I was. I think it would be pretty cool. However, at this point, it's just like fan theories that are baseless. Now with that out of the way, let's get into all the other insanity revealed in this chapter. If you want to request videos and gain access to various other benefits, consider becoming a channel member. So first up, look at the size of Jack in this panel. Like, look at his arm taking up pretty much half of Yudro's body, his legs, absolute insanity truly highlighting the benefits of steroids when it comes to one's physique and how large they can actually get. Which does, you know, remind me of my time in the gym like an hour ago. I just got back. I was sitting there doing hack squats, this mining my own business, and then a monster just walks in. Same like height size of me, but very clearly on the juice and man this looks like triple my size. Demotivating to a degree, however, it is what it is, the grind continues. And I gotta say, chapters centered around Yudro just walking and talking to the various characters are some of the most entertaining ones we get throughout the Baki series. I don't know why, we don't need fighting in Baki, just having two characters interact and these two characters being closely connected is really all we need for a peak chapter. However, something to highlight that was clearly outlined in this chapter is that regardless of Yudro being kind of tiny compared to Jack, all the people in the street look at Yudro due to his animalistic, demon-like look, and the fact that his aura alone is pretty much warping the world around him. Do take note, this is the thick version of Yudro currently in the series. 
bigger than he's ever been before. However, Jack still just looks like an absolute monster compared to him. But everyone still looks at Yudro due to Yudro being that guy. So Jack claims when talking to his father that my abilities have finally caught up with my body. This of course is talking about his new martial art, the Gao Dao, the Way of the Biting. Something that still isn't perfected as Yudro is able to point out in this chapter somehow, just Yudro things. In combination with Jack's striking ability going up as revealed when he was able to drop Tsukune. And him over time in the Bucky series, focusing more on his body than his martial arts. Back in the Maximum Tournament, his body wasn't as much as a factor as it was moving forward. He was able to defeat a lot of fighters due to of course his superior strength with the steroids. But more so his skill as well, actually countering Goki's Aiki, one of the most impressive skill feats in the entire series. But after that we don't see Jack focusing more so on technique and skill, just raw strength, speed and power to defeat his opponents. For example Siskorski, the whole pickle fight and even against Motobay where he got absolutely destroyed. But now with Gaudel, Jack is much more tactical in combination with being the biggest he's ever been. So as mentioned by Jack himself previously when he was reintroduced to the series, his new martial art is a long way from perfection. And I'm guessing throughout this Jack arc, which is Baki Rahen, we're going to see Jack slowly perfect this martial art. And this is pointed out by Yudra as well, who claims it's not perfect, but you're getting there. The first little compliment Yudro gave Jack in this chapter, which straight away already has Jack stunned. And naturally speaking, the character who of recent time has had the most impact on the story, Masashi Miyamoto, as I talked about in this video here, is brought up by Yudro, quoted again, shown for the second time in these eight chapters of Baki Rahen, was connected to chapter one, and now his name is mentioned again. Masashi Miyamoto's legacy will continue to be involved in the Baki story until he returns. As the story itself claims, it is a possibility, so who knows, maybe the Jack arc will get even more insane than we all expected. Even though I've seen a lot of people claim I've been glazing Jack quite a bit of recent time, we have a whole chapter of Yudro doing the same, so I guess it's safe to say the greatness of Jack is absolutely justified at this point. Yudro literally states, In the history of those who sought to be the strongest, you alone have set foot into the true world of biting, and then mentions the whole purity aspect about it. As a quick reminder, Jack's overarching goal since he was a kid was to become the strongest creature alive, with a focus being on creature which is pretty interesting. And then in combination with revenge as well, most likely for his mother, that hasn't been exactly stated, only implied back in the Maximum Tournament. I'm hoping we're going to get that expanded on throughout this arc as well. However, Jack's goal is to be the strongest creature, and unfortunately, like Baki, his father is the strongest creature alive. But the question now is, what's going to happen? Jack stops walking and claims, That's the first time you've ever complimented me. Are these two going to throw hands? Jack has mentioned he's willing to do anything to defeat Yudra Hanma. He's next to him right now. Is he going to give it a shot? It tends to happen when people are walking alongside Yudro. For example, in the whole Haniyama and Yudro walk. They talked for a bit. Yudro gave Haniyama some praise. And then the fight began with Yudro clapping him. Are we going to get a similar thing now where Jack tries to fight Yudro, gets pretty much knocked back to a degree. However, gets respect to a further degree, giving him pretty much more reason to continue to get stronger. And then we're going to see Jack and Yudra have a rematch at the end of this arc. Are they going to clash here? I'm not sure. I would be kind of disappointed if Jack was to just get absolutely destroyed now. However, it would set up the future of the arc and give him more reason to train. But still, I don't know what's going to happen. Let me know down below what you think. Absolute insanity, that's for sure. It's possible that Jack will say, I'll face you soon, and then we have the whole entire arc before Jack ends up facing his father. Or maybe Yudro accepts an official match against his son, and that's set up for the future, and we have Jack face all the others first. Who knows, we are in peak Bucky time, so make sure to join the Discord if you need chapter links. They're always posted there. Subscribe for more, 
Shout out to the Madline members. And that's it, guys. Peace.